Okay, so this is OBS Studio version 22. I'm going to assume you know how to do basic stuff like add sources, like you've used OBS before probably. Uh, let's go to settings, output, advanced tab. I've got some ordinary settings in my streaming tab. Um, you can look up an article if you want to see why I picked these things, but I'm not going to talk about that because it's local recording. So if you go to recording, instead of using X264, uh, I'm using NVENC, which is the NVIDIA GPU encoder. So instead of using the CPU encoder, it uses the GPU in to encode, and that means it does not put basically any load on your CPU at all. And I believe it basically puts no load on your GPU at all as well. The downside to it is that it is not compressing the video. So if you use a, or maybe it is compressing the video, I'm not an expert on this, but anyway, the trade-off here is it's very low quality per bitrate. So you can see my bitrate setting here is very high. Uh, you would never use this bitrate for streaming because it's way too high. Um, but for local recording, it's not a problem. So I'm using 50,000 for my local recording bitrate. Uh, VBR, I should probably be using CBR, but I'm not sure. It doesn't matter that much. It looks fine for me. Um, so then we go to the repl replay buffer tab, enable it. I like to use between 120 and 180 seconds depending on the game, but I'm sure you can figure that out yourself. Okay, so go to hotkeys and then replay buffer, save replay hotkey, set that to something. So now when you start your computer or whatever, turn on replay buffer, and then after something interesting happens in the game, hit your hotkey, and it will save the last X seconds, where X is the number that you set right there, and then you've got your clip. And with your clip, you can then cut it up with Avi Demux and upload it to Streamable or whatever, um, or you could use a real video editor like uh, Vegas and then make a video and upload it to YouTube or whatever you want to do.